What's up guys? In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add bleeds and trim marks in Adobe Illustrator. Before getting started, so let me quickly go over what are bleeds and what are crop marks and they are actually quite different. Although both are super essential when you send your project to print, bleeds actually refers to the area of the design that's uh, extended beyond the actual artwork. Let's say in Illustrator, the artboard size. If you add bleeds in Illustrator, you will see kind of a red box around the artboard. So when you add bleeds, it makes sure that when the document is uh, sending to cut or to trim, it's going to cut to its actual size and uh, there will be no like white area or unprinted edges appear. And usually a common bleed size is uh, three millimeters. So what are crop marks? Uh, so crop marks or trim marks in Illustrator, they are lines uh, kind of printed in the corner of your document to show the printer where to cut the paper exactly. So yeah, so crop marks basically is the guide to uh, indicate where a document should be trimmed or cut to its uh, actual final size. I know it can sound quite confusing, so let me show you a quick example here. As you can see, I created an artboard. Well, the white background, I just created for you to see it better. So this is the artboard. You can see the black lines here. This is the artboard. And I created uh, my artwork, let's say, a rectangle, the blue one, which is a little bit bigger than the artboard. And I have text that's uh, outside of the artboard. And I want to create like cutoff effect of this artwork. Just a quick example. There's a quick way to add crop marks in Illustrator and it's actually an effect. So you can see how it will look. However, it's always recommended to first add the bleeds. All right, so first of all, I'm going to show you how to add bleeds in Illustrator. Actually, there are three ways to do so. You can add bleeds to a document when you create a new document. So for example, if you want to add bleeds from the very beginning here, if you just move down, uh, when you create a new document, you will see the bleed option here. So usually, as I mentioned before, a common bleed size is three millimeters. So you can change the measurement unit to millimeters and you can put three. Since it's all linked, it's going to show um, three. I'm going to just create a new document. And yeah, these are bleeds. However, if you already have your document ready, you forgot to create bleeds and you just want to add them real quick, you can also add bleeds by going to file document setup and here you can also add bleed so change again the measurement units to millimeters if you don't know how to change measurement units i do have a tutorial a step-by-step -step guide showing you how to do it you can find the link in the description below and here i'm going to put three again and you are going to see the bleeds here if you want you can drag your artboard to reach the bleed so then yeah when you cut your artwork is not going to show like this white area. That's the purpose of the bleeds. Now, once you have your bleeds ready, you can add the crop mark. I know I haven't mentioned the third way to add bleeds because you can also add bleeds when you save a document. And I will talk about it later on together with how to add a crop mark here. So if you want to preview or if you want to see how it looks or just having a guide here, so you have to select the artboard or your artwork and go to effect and choose crop marks and this is the crop mark for example when you cut the artwork it's going to cut from here exactly showing it where to cut and here since i have the crop mark set to 3 mm as well 3 millimeters as well so it's the same size i mean the same um, position as the crop marks sometimes you can adjust the trim mark areas or distance or offset when you save the document as well. So now the third way to add bleeds and crop mark in Illustrator is when you save your file as a PDF. And that's a common file if you want to send to print. Well, you don't have to select anything because we are going to save this artboard as a PDF. Go to file and choose save as. And here you can choose a document format as Adobe PDF. And okay, let's choose a name, bleeds. And click save. And then here under general options, you have marks and bleeds. So click on that marks and bleeds. Well, I already have that selected. Otherwise uh, you can choose trim marks and here is where you can change the offset. So for example, I had it at three mm 
you want to cut the area a little bit within the bleeds, you can add it to six as well or four. And then the bleeds I already selected, use document bleed settings and click save PDF. All right, so that's what the PDF looks like. You are not going to actually see the bleed line since it's a white area between this mark and the artboard. So when I increase it to four, as you can see, it's in indicating it to cut this area and which is within the bleed area. So yeah, so when you send this artwork to print, it's going to cut it like this. So it's going to cut part of the B on top and it's going to cut part of the B on the left as well. Yeah, so that's how leads and crop mark works in Illustrator.